तो टर्म तो थ्रू दिस स्मॉल वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट फॉर डिफरेंसेस राइट बिकॉज uh the most of the subscribers or audience the requested likes a please post the video on cfd cfd means contract for difference try to understand the you know word for concepts in depth then everything will you know very easy to understand here we are talking about contract so it means of course when you can sign the contract there should be something underlying it it is kind of a derivatives but it's not a perfect derivative instrument again in a derivative also what we do try and understand the definition of derivatives derivative it means the uh, <coughs> the contract of financial instrument which derives the value of underlying securities right so that instrument we call it as derivatives but here in a cfd's contract for differences if you see the word say it means stands for contract contracts f for means f it means for contract for d means differences differences so here you can sign the contract to gain the exposure of you know uh, the different financial instruments through differences through differences it means through uh, pricing differences through pricing differences price plays a very crucial role where you don't need to hold any security in your account then how can i enter into such contracts and gain the price exposure so logic or the you know the term is very very simple so here you need to put a logic how you can you know uh, do it let's say there is a party a who is interested in cfd then Pan, uh, that that party can uh, you know meet to the broker and put a proposal like let's assume it a party is interested in tcs security interested in tcs security and this party is very bullish on long position right this party is bullish on a long position then broker will again reach out to the party b to see if the party b uh, has a plan to you know enter into cfd contracts and if the party b also enter into same tcs security then this party might be see if there is a one party which is bullish on long position then definitely there would be other party which would be again uh, bearish on the same you know security let's assume it the market price current market price of the uh, tcs security is 3300 current price is then both the counter parties will sign the cfd stating that so they will open this particular particular contract contract will open at 3300 rupees right contract will open at that particular price and up to all whatever the settlement date would be let's say uh, <coughs> within a one week they want to close it out so it means on monday contract will open and friday this contract will close let's say when the contract closed the price was reached to the 3400 if you see there would be difference of 100 right there would be difference of 100 so that becomes your incoming wire incoming wire for counter party a because here in this particular contract a counter party a counter party earn 100 rupees from the contract and from accounting perspective cfd you don't need to record the cfds in the books of account cfd you can record under cash flow accounting cash flow accounting you can record it under cash flow accounting kind of leg 1 leg 2 and the difference would be your cash flow 
So this becomes the cash flow and that cash flow you can record it in the books of fund as a revenue. One will record as a revenue and other counterparty will record minus 100 because they are in a loss as an expense from the contract, from the CFD contract. So this is how they perform the obligations and from a reconciliation perspective also if you are reconciling this particular trades in the books of fund then you need to select leg 1, leg 2 and leg 1, leg 2 becomes your laser 1, laser 2 with statement 1 because net difference which you need to transfer from one account to other is 100 you know and then that becomes your perfect match netting would be 0 because you can uh, see the you know even calculation like plus 3300 plus 100 this one becomes 1400 and minus 3400 right so in that way you can perform the reconciliation and match that break in your system here incoming wire of course the broker will post it the reason is broker manage the cfd transaction right broker manage this CFD transaction, it's a contract, it's not an instrument, it's a contract. So where you can consider one underlying assets and accordingly you can sign or open the contract with a spot price. And again, you can close the contract at a predefined you know, date, uh, whatever the date would be given in the particular agreement. And then after the close, whatever the difference, if you see means in the price from open and close price, then that difference you will receive as a uh, you know incoming or outgoing wire because B counterparty it will it will have a say means vice versa for A it has become revenue it means it becomes incoming wire and for a uh, B counterparty it will be outgoing wire this is a very important to understand you know the different different terms which comes under the fund accounting business line so uh, i'm sure this small you know station that will help you to understand the cfds if you want in detail session then i would say at least give the uh, 200 likes and uh, 10000 k you know views to this video then definitely i'll develop detail in detail session from the fund accounting perspective including uh, the, you know journal entries for CFDs or accounting treatment how we can apply the accounting treatment uh, the recording of CFDs in the books of fund or maybe investment books how we can record and all so I'll I'll give each and everything in detail so if you are looking for that session then I would expect the you know likes and subscribes or uh, you know the views from you and if you're looking for any you know course uh, if you're looking for any course then I would say uh, you know Call to the uh, number, call to the number 7387609230 and enquire about the training courses and all. Now we have offered around 50% scholarship on all the courses because we have a vision to uh, teach you guys. That's what we have come up with the uh, program like Atma Nirbhar program so where you can enroll and take the benefit of scholarship. So we'll see you in next session or a different topics. Uh, till now I would say bye, take care and enjoy this content. Thank you.